Hey there, beautiful. I'm Jackson. I'm the new receptionist here. Welcome to Dr. Coco's clinic. Now, can I have your name and your number? Okay. Now, let me just pull you up here, okay? All right, I got you. What's that? Ah, uh, Stacy. Yeah, she's my cousin. Can't you see the resemblance? <laughs> what can I say? Good luck's running the family, right? But um, I did hear that a patient from this clinic actually complained about her to Dr. Coco. Now, that's not cool, you know? You happen to know anything about that? Hmm. Well, I'm going to keep a close eye on you. Well, anyway, I am taking over for her, learning, you know, how to do this. I've been a receptionist at so many places, a hair salon, a dentist's office, and here I am, sleep clinic. Dr. Adam, you'll be meeting him. He's pretty chill. He's my guy. He's all the way down the hallway, last door on the right. And then I think, like, Dr. Coco's going to come and, like, do a sleep study on you or something. Any questions? Well, good, because I don't have any answers. <laughs> I will see your beautiful face in the morning. Enjoy. Hi, my name is Dr. Adam from Dr. Adam ASMR. Thanks for coming in today to get your sleep study or polysomnography completed. Now, before I hand you over to Dr. Coco, I'd like to conduct a brief physical exam to make sure that you're feeling well and prepared for your sleep study today. Would that be okay? Great. If you don't mind, I'm just going to put on some gloves real quick. Start off just by taking a listen to your heart and lungs. After that, we're going to evaluate your airway to determine what level of potential obstruction you might have. We'll also conduct a brief cranial nerve exam, and then I'll let Dr. Coco know that you're ready, and you can go ahead and proceed into the exam room with her. But let's get started with your heart and lungs first. Will that be okay? Now, if this is your first time coming to my office, I'll generally take a listen to your heart and lungs, and then I'll let you have a listen if you'd like. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Just relax, breathe nice and normal, nice and easy. I'm going to take a listen to your heart first. Just try and relax, good. Very good. Your heart sounds normal. I don't hear any murmurs, gallops, rubs. Anything that would be concerning for further evaluation at this time. Would you like to take a listen? Let me clean this off for you. Okay. I'm going to put these in your ears now. Just relax here. It's kind of nice to hear our own heartbeat, isn't it? I'm going to take a listen to your lungs now. Let me just clean this off briefly here. 
For this, I'd like you to take a deep breath in through your nose and then out through your mouth. Let me show you how that will go. We'll do it together. A deep breath in and out through your mouth. Perfect. Okay. Go ahead and take that deep breath in and out. Good. Once more, a deep breath in and out. Very good. We'll come to the other side here. A deep breath in and out. Good. A deep breath in and out. Good. Would you like to listen to your lungs as well? Okay. Let me clean this off. I'll let you take a quick listen. And I think it's very relaxing to hear your own lungs and breath sounds. So, one of the other things we'll need to do now is obtain a blood pressure. We have our blood pressure cuff here. This is called a sphygmomanometer. Uh, this allows me to determine the pressure inside of your arteries, and that's what supplies a, a blood pressure for us. So, I apologize the noise for the Velcro, but let's put this on your arm here. Tighten down. Good. And now, what we'll do is just take a look at this gauge here, and uh, we'll pump up our cuff here. I'm going to rest the gauge so that I can see it. Very good. And now I'll just take a listen. You relax. Blood pressure is normal, 122 on 82. So let's take that cuff off and move on. Okay, relax here. We'll put this aside for now. One of the things I'd like to do is score your airway, a Malampati score. So I'm going to use a light from a otoscope here, which will give me a nice directed light to take a look in the back of your throat. So we'll just assemble this. And now we have a light source that we can see easily in the back. I'm going to look for cobblestoning, any drainage, tonsillar swelling, erythema, or other lesions that may be concerning in addition to giving this score. So I'll have you open your mouth, please. Okay, and I need you to just say, ah. Okay, good. No exudate over the tonsils or cobblestoning. Uvula is midline, no tongue deviation. I would give you a Malampati class two airway. Very good. While we're almost ready for Dr. Coco, I'd just like to conduct a quick cranial nerve exam. Would that be okay with you? Great. I'll have you start by just looking at the light in the end of my pen here. Would that be all right? Okay, good. Just looking at the tip of the pen here, go ahead and follow that. Good. Very good. Good. 
excellent. And just look straight ahead. Good. Good, about four millimeter pupils. I'm going to touch your face now to test for sensation. If you could close your eyes, let me know if you feel this here. Good, here. Excellent. And if you could bite down for me. Go ahead and bite down once more. Good. Give me a big smile. Excellent. And close your eyes very tight. Don't let me open them here. Good. Good. Okay. You can relax. Could you please shrug your shoulders up? Good. Turn your head towards the left and the right. Excellent. Okay. And we already did an exam of the inside of the mouth. Next, I'm just going to press on your neck. Okay. I'm just going to check for any swelling, masses, or lymph nodes. You just relax for this portion. Good. Okay. Excellent. I don't feel any concerning masses. So this was an abbreviated physical exam, but I think you're ready for your polysomnography now. I'm going to let Dr. Coco know that you'll be coming down to her exam room now to get wired up for the sleep study and be evaluated. Thank you again for giving me this opportunity, and you can always make an appointment with me on Dr. Adam ASMR. Good luck with your study. Are you ready? Great. Welcome to your polysomnography. I know this is your first time. How are you feeling? Yeah, I can understand that. Well, I want to make sure that this is as comfortable a process for you as possible. And that's why instead of the sleep technician starting this off, I'd like to personally do it. It's also really important for the diagnosis and treatment process, I believe. Our sleep technician is Sarah. She'll be taking care of you for the rest of the night after we begin the study. Okay. And how is Dr. Adam? I know, an excellent doctor. I really admire his physical exam skills. Okay, so I was taking a look at your sleep diary and um, I was just noticing that you, you do seem to be going to bed a little bit earlier than the last time we spoke. You've been doing that intentionally, yeah. I definitely see that the more that you've been doing this sleep diary, you have been going to bed a little bit earlier and just generating a bit more awareness around your sleep timing. That's great. That's honestly the purpose of this exercise. I find that it's helpful not just to get a sense of the patterns in terms of your sleep, but also for you to generate more awareness around it so that you can take control of your health and start developing healthier patterns too. Yeah. So you are still waking up a few times during the night, usually one to two times, yeah? And do you know what the cause is for that? Yeah, I remember talking about your issues with breathing sometimes at night, and we'll definitely be able to explore that some more with this polysomnography. Yeah. We'll be looking at your respiration, your heart. We'll be doing an electroencephalogram, electrocardiogram, as well as an electromyogram and electrooculogram. You know, there's going to be a lot of different gadgets hooked up to you, but we'll try to make sure that it's as comfortable as possible. Okay, great. And I wanted to ask you about the supplements that I prescribed last time. 
the stress tea, the stress release tea, as well as the Passiflora. How is that? So you've only had to take the Passiflora once, that's good. And the stress release tea you're taking every day, good, good. And did you notice any differences with that? Great. Yeah, I definitely find that it helps you feel calmer and more mellow throughout the day, a little bit less anxious. And overall, that can set up a really good pattern for sleep at night as well. So I'd like you to continue taking the tea and the Passiflora, the passion flower extract. Just take it whenever you need to, just like you have been. Good. And what about your fruit and vegetable intake? Great. Diet and lifestyle changes can be hard to change sometimes. And I'm really proud of you for making those changes. Have you noticed a difference in your bowel movements? Last constipation. Are you having, how many bowel movements are you having a day? One to two, amazing. And are they well formed? Good. Not too dry. Still a little on the dry side. Okay. How has your water intake been? Yeah, maybe a few more glasses a day. Okay. Have you had to take the chamomile and peppermint tea? No? Okay, perfect. Yeah, so if you do find that you're getting constipated again, it's just a great way to kind of break the cycle of constipation. One bag of chamomile tea, one bag of peppermint, steeped really, really strong, and then after you drink that, you'll find that you'll start to be more regular. But it looks like you're not having any issues right now, which is great. All right, do you have any questions for me? No, the sleep study will not hurt at all. Yeah, it's even the placement of the electrodes. We're very, very careful about that. I'll be careful with sectioning your hair as well and applying the paste and I'll explain everything as we go. So please don't worry. All right, let's get started. Alright, so I want to start off by putting a few bands around your chest, so one on your chest and one on your abdomen at the level of the diaphragm, and it's just going to measure your breathing, so let's just put that around you, okay? Oh no, it's not going to be too tight, so don't worry about that. And I'll just fix it in the back in a second. And I'm going to place a second band around your abdomen. Okay. There you go. Let me just come behind you and fix it up.
Is that okay around your chest? It's fine? Yeah, great. All right. Good. So I'm just going to get some gloves on. And I just want to gently brush your hair. This is a clean brush. And it's just going to help with sectioning the hair and then marking the various spots on your scalp where we're going to be placing the electrodes. being really gentle, letting you know if I'm causing any pain. Brushing the side over on the right. Yeah, I think it's really important to completely detangle the hair. Otherwise, we might. some unnecessary harm to your hair and your scalp or potentially even get the measurements wrong or the positions rather so let me just gently Alright, so now I'm going to be doing some measuring of your skull, but first I want to do some landmarking. So I'm just going to be using this pen, and it's completely non-toxic, very easy to wash off, okay? I'm going to start by marking your nasion, which is right between your eyes. So, just right there. Okay. Good. And then I want to mark the preauricular area. So, right. Let me 
just come over to the other side. Again, I'm going to mark the preauricular area on this side. Right there. And then the anion on the back. So just feeling for. So just feeling for the little protuberance and just making a little mark. Great. Now I'm going to be doing some measuring. So we'll measure from the nasion. Let me take a look here. all the way behind and it's about 44 centimeters from the nasion to the onion. Okay, so 44. We're going to take 10% of that and make a mark, and that will be O1, O which stands for occipital, so 4.4, we'll make a mark right there for occipital, and then just go from the nasion all the way up and go 4.4 as well and we're just gonna mark where that is right here okay so that is FP1 and from there we're just going to go in halves. So from FP1 to O1, right in the center, is going to be CZ, and then midway between CZ and O1, we'll find PZ, between FP1 and CZ, we'll find FZ. So I'm just gonna make Back there as well. All right, perfect. All right, so now I'm going to be measuring around the circumference of your head. So I'm just coming over here and following. Let me actually, I usually go from side to side first, so sort of the frontal plane over here. So let me find T3, over here on the right side. First let me just measure from the two preauricular points. Sandwiches, four point one. 
I'm going to make a mark right there. I'll do the same thing on the other side. I'm just going to rejewel it. Okay. We already have it's easy and then we're going to divide by half again from t3 to cc and then from cc to t4 good there we go all right now we can measure around the circumference of your head. So let's take a look. We're going to be going at the same plane as T3 and T4. So let me start at the nasian again, and I'm going to be finding the two points that are 10% away. Let's start with this side. So we'll go from here all the way to the inion. So nasian to inion. And then 10% of sixty two divided by two is thirty one. So we're going to do three point one. And then over on the other side as well. 3.1. There we go. And then from there we can find the halfway point again. Just following that same plane. Oops. There we go, sorry. And the halfway point which is what we already have, T3, but halfway from T3 to O1 is T5, and halfway from T3 to FP1 Totally fudge that up. Should have been F said. Oops. Okay, that's fine. Uh, that's okay. Nasian. All right. Okay. And then from T three to F P one. We have F7, which we'll just mark right there. Okay, good. Just come on to your other side. Okay. I'm just making notes as I go. 
again, we're going to go from now FP2 on this side between T4 and FP2 we have F8 and then from T4 to O2 we have T6 okay good just a few more points Bear with me. Now we're going to move from FP2 all the way over to O2. So we're just going to find a, a line there. And it's going to be intersecting with C4. So right there. So that's where we can find F4 between C4 and FP2 and P4 between O2 and C4. So we'll do the same thing on the other side. From FP1 to O1, and we'll be crossing C3, and we'll find F3 here, center between C3 and FP1. And then from C3 to O1, another halfway point. So, I think we've gotten all of them. Yes, definitely. Okay, great. And the rest, so the electroencephalogram, I have to be very careful about where I place the points. I don't want there to be a deviance of more than five millimeters. So let me just double check and make sure all my measurements are correct. are all of them. <laughs> How are you feeling? You're feeling relaxed? Good, I'm glad. It can be quite relaxing sometimes when I'm marking these up. I find some people actually really enjoy it. So I'm going to start adding the paste and then the little nodes, the EG nodes. So the 
it's just this paste and I'll have the sleep technician tomorrow teach you how to take it off safely, okay? And it's just going to help with the conduction of the electricity. So I'm just going to apply some here and apply the electrode there. Let me just grab some gauze, I'll be right back. So I'll do that for all the rest of them. And again, just applying some of this paste on the various points. some gauze on this side. There we go. And a few more just over here. Okay. Let's apply the electrode. Don't worry, they won't be moving very much when you sleep, okay? And if they do, the sleep technician will definitely fix it. It won't cause any damage to your hair. We have a very good quality conductive paste that conducts electricity very well, but doesn't cause any damage whatsoever to your hair or your scalp, okay? Rest assured. Just see here. Just looking at my marks and making sure that I'm not missing anything. A few more back here. So 
So now all of the electrodes have been placed on your scalp and I'm going to place a few more electrodes onto your face, okay? So these electrodes are more of the sticky type. So I don't need to use any paste for this one. I'm just going to place one right here on the side of your eye. And this is going to be measuring, sorry, there you go. It's going to be measuring the movements of your eyes. So kind of whether you're in rapid eye movement stage or you're in stage. And here's the other one for your right side. And then we're going to place a few on your chin. And one more on the chin. Okay, good. I also need to place a few ECG electrodes, just two. We're going to place one on the right side, upper chest area. And one over here on the left side. So that the current can run through your heart and we can pick up the signal. I'm also going to place a few on your masseter muscle area. That way we can identify whether you have any bruxism, so any clenching and grinding of your teeth. So one on this side. a few more gold pads on the top here. Okay, great. I'm going to put two electrodes on each side so on each of your legs. And for this, we're going to be measuring the activity, the contraction of your tibialis anterior muscle to see if you have any periodic limb movement during the night. So I'm just gonna come down here. And if you could just please flex your foot up, just like that, toes up, good. Okay, there's your muscle. And then just placing to your thumb here. Okay. Just gonna come onto the other side. And two more just right here. While I'm here, I might as well get some of these wires hooked up to the electrodes. So I'm just going to be connecting wires to the electrodes. There we go. 
go. Let me try that again. So there's one. few more basically onto every single one of these electrodes so I'm just gonna do them quickly and then I'm gonna gather them all at the back Just place a few more over here. Good. Then I can connect these all to the machine that records everything. all of them for the scalp. Let me just connect them all to the recorder. So I'm just gathering all the electrodes in the back and I'm just connecting them to the recorder. And now I simply have to connect the rest of your electrodes on the face. So just give me a second to do that. So those are all of them. And then we just need to hook up your legs. to be gathering all of the wires and bringing them and plugging them into the recorder. Now, how are you feeling all wired up? I promise you, it's going to be worth it. The amount of information that we're going to be getting from the sleep study is so incredibly worth it. And it'll be able to improve your quality of life in many different ways. Okay. So next, I'm going to be putting on a nasal cannula and it will be able to tell me how much oxygen you are breathing in. Okay, so 
just placing that there and then second oops and there we go so that's hooked up all right and that should be everything the only thing that's missing is the um, oximeter, the pulse oximetry little clip. So do you have a preference for which finger you'd like? So the right or left index finger? Over here on the right is fine? Okay, great. So I'm just going to clip this on to your finger here. Okay, great. All right, great work. You're officially done being set up for polysomnography. And I really hope that you're able to get some sleep tonight. Don't worry about it if you feel like you're not able to sleep. Even just a few hours of sleep will be able to retrieve a lot of information that can benefit you benefit our diagnosis and treatment plan, okay? All right, so do you have any questions for me? Oh yes, so there is a microphone and a camera in this room. I think the receptionist already told you that. Oh, he didn't. Okay, so there is a microphone and camera in here and the sleep technician will be watching you throughout the night and don't worry, they're very friendly, very not judgmental, so don't worry about that at all. And um, if you need any help at all, you just say help or please help me. Just signal to them that you need some help and they can come in and perhaps help you to the bathroom or get some water for you or move the electrodes in a way that's more comfortable, the wires in a way that's more comfortable. Anything at all, you just have to ask and they'll be here. Okay? Alright. Is there anything else I can do for you right now? No? Okay, great. Well, I will see you at the next visit and for the rest of the night and for tomorrow, the sleep technician will take care of you. Okay? Alright. Sweet dreams and sleep well. I'll see you soon. Bye now.